guys, it's Trina and today I'm going to be showing you what books I have currently checked out from my library. Probably 90% of the books that I read in a year are from the library. I love my library. But if you would rather see the books that I've bought or been given in the past few months, then check out the video that I posted last week, which was just a regular book haul of things that I own. All the books that I mentioned in this video are going to be linked to their Goodreads page down below because I am pretty abysmal with describing book summaries before I've read them. I tend to stay away from summaries. I like to know a couple of buzzwords. I like to know who the book is by. Is this book getting a lot of hype? Is this about a topic that I want to read about? But I don't like to know the entire summaries. So I'm going to do my best to tell you guys what all these books are about. But in case I fail miserably, then you can check out the Goodreads and links down below. I will at least be telling you why I'm interested in these books and like what I do know about them. But some of these it's not very much. <laughs> I have five debut novels currently checked out. So I'm going to start with those. And the first one I'm going to show you today is The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi. I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly. I've tried to look up interviews and I couldn't find any. All I really know about this book is that this is a YA fantasy novel about a young girl that finds herself queen like through an arranged marriage and I think there is reincarnation. There's a lot of astrology. I believe this is based on Italian mythology. I don't know too much about it but I've heard a lot of really good reviews and I'm trying to read more debut novels this year but it just seemed like something that I would enjoy so I grabbed this one. Next up I've got Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor and this one is another YA debut. It's about time travel. The main character's mother dies in the beginning and then the main character finds out that her mom was a time traveler and now she is too. I am really interested in time travel. I usually love it in books but I've read some that do it really poorly but being that this is a debut about a topic that I like I grabbed it because I'm into that. <laughs> yeah. The next one is a book I've mentioned before but I haven't read it yet and I haven't hauled it but that is The Girl Who Fell by S.M. Parker. This is another YA debut and this is set on a couple in high school where the girl gets involved with a boy and it turns out to be an abusive relationship, a very toxic relationship. And so I believe that this book is exploring uh, that kind of relationship from the inside and this girl who isn't aware that maybe this isn't the healthiest relationship to be in. She's not really aware that that's not how love is supposed to be. My interest in this book is because I have experienced emotionally abusive relationships before, relationships that were very unhealthy, and I didn't recognize that until after I was out of them. Abusive relationships are not always violent, but there is a lot of emotional and just mental things that can go into relationships that are very unhealthy that can just be devastating to people in them. It's a very important thing especially for young readers so that's why this is a YA book and that's why I'm really interested in it because I want to know what a book about this topic is saying to young readers. The next one I have is After the Woods by Kim Savage, another YA debut. This is a psychological thriller about two girls that get attacked in the woods and one of them runs and leaves her friend behind and a year later another girl turns up dead in the same woods where those two girls were originally attacked. Now the one that ran is like dealing with this downward spiral. She's just really messed up because of it and the one that had been captured doesn't remember what happened to her. So I think that this takes place a year after that event as they are trying to figure out what happened to the one that was captured and what does the one that ran know about it? Like did she have any involvement? I mean I'm assuming she maybe had something to do with it or she knew more than she said but I don't know. I picked this one up just because I saw it on a list of debuts and I'm interested in psychological thrillers sometimes so I thought it sounded interesting and I would like to know more so that's why I got it, obviously. The next one I have here is one that I am probably the most excited to read out of this entire haul, and it's another YA debut. It is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Rousseau, and this is about a trans girl in high school. So she was born a boy, and she has transitioned into a female, and now she is in a relationship with a guy that she is worried about telling him that she was born a male and how that would affect the relationship. What is so great about this book is that it's about a trans girl written by a trans woman, and the cover model is a trans girl. And and the narrator of the audiobook is a trans woman too. So I just think that that's an incredible amount of representation throughout the entire process. And I found out that the author is actually local to my state, so that made me a little bit more interested in reading it too, just to support like a local author. But I'm really looking forward to it because it sounds like an amazing representation coming from the right place because it's got the author's genuine voice. I think it's going to be a great like personal internal reflection about how a young person in high school would be dealing with these things. The rest of these books are not debuts, but the next one I have is In Real Life by Jessica Love. This is a YA contemporary and I heard about it on Jesse the Reader's channel I believe. This is about two friends that have met online they've never met in real life and when one of them starts developing feelings for the other one that she tries to meet him and then finds out that he's been keeping some secrets and this sounds like an episode of Cat 
Catfish. I don't know if any of you guys watch that show, but I love Catfish. It's really interesting to me because I have met so many of my friends online. I've even met my husband online. We went to the same school and we never met until years later after we were out of that school. So I just feel like the internet can really bring people together, but there is also risk to it, and I just love exploring that dynamic, so I was really interested in picking this one up. Next up, I have Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuhaki, and I've actually never read a full book by April, but I have read her short story in Monster Boys and Slasher Girls, and I really loved that story, so I wanted to pick up this next book by her. This is a YA mystery. Yeah, I think everything in this haul actually is YA, but whatever, that's cool. I really don't know what this one is about. It seems like it's about three characters and something has happened and we're kind of unraveling the mystery of what roles each of the three played. It, maybe one of them is lying about something. So I don't know too much about it. I just know that I liked her writing in the short story I read and I wanted to read more by her because she has a really great creepy vibe to her writing. Again, the Goodreads link is down below if you want to know more. Next up I have The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. This was a very recent release and this is one that I actually have no idea what the story is about. I picked it up solely because I wanted to read more by Morgan Matson. I've only read one of her books before. It was Since You've Been Gone and I really liked it. I'm so sorry I can't tell you more but I just think that if you like YA contemporaries, Morgan Matson might be an author that you want to look into and again check out that Goodreads link down below. The next one I picked up is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. This is a YA fantasy that has more of a historical feeling I think. I think it deals a lot with like royalty. Maybe there's an arranged marriage or something like that because I hear it's a cross between the selection and reign and I like both those things and I like Michelle Reed's previous books. I've read her Vampire Academy series but this one I think is going to be a trilogy of companion novels where each book is told, like it's the exact same story told from a different character's point of view each time and that just sounds interesting to me and this one actually comes very highly recommended to me by my friend Jordan from the Jordan Journals. She recently read this one and she's one of the people that loved it. I know there have been some mixed reviews but she pointed out some aspects to the story in this book that she knows that I really have liked in other books I've read before so she thinks I'm really gonna like it. I'm really 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 looking forward to reading this one. Next I have this massive Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I still have not read this one, but I've had it from the library for quite a while, and I'm hoping to read it soon. I'm sure everyone knows what this one is about by this point. This is the first book in a new spinoff Shadowhunter series by Cassandra Clare. So this one takes place after the end of City of Heavenly Fire, but it's following new characters and a new story. I know I'm going to read the rest of Cassandra Clare's Shadowhunter series because I really have loved the way that she's tied the different stories in the same world together. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I wanted to read this one right away and I just couldn't get to it, but I will read it. I will. And the last book that I have from the library currently is Charmed Thirds by Megan McCafferty. This is the third book in the Jessica Darling series, which is a YA contemporary. These were written like back in the very early 2000s so it does have kind of a dated feel to it which is incredible for me because this is like exactly what my high school life was like when I went to high school back then because I'm a little bit older. I do really like this series I just haven't been making time for it you know you know how that goes. This really is just like a diary entry format series about our main character Jessica Darling just navigating high school friendships relationships. I think this one might be the one where she goes off to college or maybe the next book because the series does follow her from high school to college and I'm really interested in in a YA series that does go into college age. But anyway, this is the last book I got from my library and that is it. This is not going to end well. So this is everything I have checked out from my library recently and hopefully I will get to them. We all know how that goes. If you've read any of these, let me know what you think and let me know what the last thing you got from your library was. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!